So, uh, shooting another little tutorial for you. Uh, this is how I set up my hammer boots. I'm actually going to be setting up some, or tearing apart my old ones and fixing some new ones. These are what I got. Well, some brown boots. Um, no, no reason that I thought they were better looking than some of the other ones I saw. They were cheap. Got them from Overstock.com. A little narrower than the boots I was throwing in, so I'm hoping a little tighter fit will give me a little bit more control, maybe generate some more power. Swap my laces over and uh, keep my long bolts. Uh, basically, the reason I left the bolts long is because I've been long for four years and haven't seemed to be bothering me yet, so I'm going to keep them there. If nothing else, they give you a little bit more traction on the ground. Who knows? I'm not crazy. So, check it out, click subscribe, and uh, enjoy the video. This is my uh, kind of a rebuild of my hammer boots. Uh, the boots I've got are pretty busted, so you can see these are my new boots. I got some brown ones, they're pretty cheap, got them from Overstock. These are busted and split, you can see from years of throwing, so I've got this uh, video a little sped up because it's kind of boring. So these are the basic tools I used. I have a vice grip, it's protein, uh, my cell phone always handy. Uh, product placement there for USP Labs, not on purpose, just uh, lazy and didn't move it. Um, so, first thing I did was uh, take the bolts or the nuts off the bottom of my blades. Um, they actually came off pretty easy. Uh, if you need to, I use the vice grips to grab a hold of the bolt and then unscrew with the, with the wrench. Um, you see me fighting now to get these bolts out of the bottom of my old boots and... Uh, I use a bolt like that. Uh, it's going to sit in the shoe and not really beat your foot up too bad, although over time it's still going to be pretty uncomfortable. Uh, the front ones are a real pain in the ass to get to, so you kind of uh, beat on it and get them in and out any way you can. Um, I use uh, brute force. Uh, removing the laces helps a ton. You'll be able to get your fat hands into the front of your shoes a lot better. I know that works better for me, so it's like a you know, a little bit of fisting, a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of love. you got to be gentle. But eventually it'll all get in there. Uh, give it a couple good smacks. Finally get it out. There was a little camera magic. Oh, look at that. And then uh, that boot is basically cached. Uh, you know, make sure things are running. Uh, send pictures of your, fr of your dog to your friends. Uh, get rid of these busted-ass laces that came on these boots. These are not expensive boots. Uh... They feel pretty gross, but I'm going to do nothing but kick the shit out of them. The uh, old boots I got, I got at Walmart, and uh, they've made four seasons of the Highland Games. They're the only blades I've ever had. I feel weird as it is about kind of changing them. Uh, that's, you know, two world championships and two runners-up in a national championship and a North American championship have all been in those boots. But they are... Bigger for my feet than I would like them to be, so I'm going to switch to these, which are going to be a little bit more snug, and hopefully give me a little bit more control in my throw. Um, so as you can see here, I'm lining my blade up, and where I'm putting it is basically so it's just running straight out of the front of the boot. Mine have a curve to them. These are Texas Switch Blades by Spencer Tyler, and I'm putting that curve right toward the front of the boot. That way, as I'm dug in the ground all the way to my toe is basically uh, dug in. Uh, there's really not you know, two specifics on this. If you're, if you're really getting into that big of details, you're focusing on the wrong things. Just attach them to your boots. You'll be fine. Just, I mean, don't point them the wrong direction or off to the side or crooked. I mean, those are obviously asshole decisions, so don't do that. Uh, you can see I've pulled the insoles out. That way I can get to it and don't drill through the top of your shoe. Uh, so again, these are really a pain in the ass, as you can see. So I've got to fight and get it in. Uh, I believe I actually... Decide that the hole I've used to drill in my boot is not big enough, and I'm going to remedy that with uh, bigger drill bits. And because um, I could, I could get it in, but it just wouldn't jam all the way through. So I'm trying to even push down on the tongue. Uh, so I'm switching to now a pair of not steel toe boots, um, which actually did make install a little bit easier. Those steel toes just really don't give you any room for play, and they don't, <laughs> they don't move much. Uh, hence, I guess why they keep your feet from falling apart if something falls on them. But these are uh, a little different, so magic. So change out the drill bit, and um, <clears throat> with the help of editing, I can add in this drill bit here. It's a little bit larger, you know, for since you're drilling through rubber and stuff like that, it's better just to go ahead and get it done. And uh, look at that, there's a drill bit. Take a look at that while I answer a text message. 
I'm always in demand. And so, you know, don't drill all the way through the top of your shoe. I know Mike Bukowski used to cut the ends of his shoes off. I thought it was a real asshole move. But uh, you'll see here. Um, so, there. Boom. I attached. <laughs> uh, not the greatest camera work. I'm not a great camera guy. I am a meathead and I'm trying to do some other things and provide information. So, there's my boots. They look good. Enjoy.